because like I'm pretty sure Caspian either plays Belmont or Sephiroth. They I will play, say though. They play Sephiroth, Belmont, and Falco. Like they played all of them. Okay. Oh wow. I was like, I haven't heard about the Falco, but I have heard about the other two. So. Um, I will say, Caspian. We'll Caspian's showing up for the occasion. It is very, very stylish, coming out here. Yeah, how, how could I not put this on screen? You know, literally, you got to show the people this awesome outfit. Honestly, I respect it. I wonder if the Belmonts might come out because all the space on town. Maybe. Um. Yeah, I could see that, or I could honestly. Where's the Kai? I could even see Falco here. Leave? I, well, personally, the I Kai don't Kai. like fighting any. Honestly, except except for Belmonts, I don't like fighting either two of those characters on town. So, I'm really interested to see what characters are picked here from both sides. Falco and Bayo. Okay. That's not what I, that's not what we were expecting at all, honestly. Oh, you did say it could be either or. You, did, uh, you just could go either or, Kazuya or Bayo, but interesting. All right. Getting into the game here. It's going to be Falco versus Bayonetta. Um, I honestly don't know too much like about like matchup logistics of this. Yeah. I, hmm, I think my working theory is that Falco kind of has to play a little bit reactionary uh, because you can't be as... You can kind of rush down Bayo, but I feel like sometimes you'll, you'll get eaten up and punished for that. Like, yeah, you went for a grab there, and now you're just taking a lot. Yeah, like, Bayo definitely wants to be in the air, and Falco has the tools to call Bayo out, but I also feel like Bayo can take advantage of the fact that Falco's a bit, you know, more on the slow side in terms of character speeds. So, uh, Ooh, especially nice. if you get on there, Warrior yeah. 1 pop up into up snatch to me, the first stock by Yukis there, well done. Also, I could have sworn they, they picked um, picked down, but we're going to APS 2, and um, that's really good for Bayo because you get to kill off the top way, way quicker. Yep, yeah, I'm sure Falco's fine here. Um, they might have, like, um, they might have chose PS2 as the last one and tried to fan town. Ah. Is probably what happened there. But oh, the neutral air is going to come out. Trying to go for the falling up air, but Yunus is going to respond in time. And that forward air is going to get Falco up to 99%. I will say, though, this is kind of the hardest part for Bayo. Like, you see that smash attack thrown out right there. He's finding the stock. So yeah. there is a chance for Caspian to bring it back right here. Right, because you get that, you get that, um, as much as you can build up the damage, you have to find some type of kill. And that's strange to try and kill Falco, especially at this percentage. Yeah, and that's going to be 33 already. And keep in mind that Falco has a bit of rage here, so, you know, Bayo yeah. probably gets to around 80% here. The nice, though. Trouble, though. That second stock's going to be taken by the down here. Um, up till backer may come to play, but... Last stock for Caspian. Uh, you, just, you just still just honestly just playing his game. I, I know... Uh... Oh, 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 is that okay. going to be a stock? Wait, wow. Game one. Dang. All right, I was, I was saying, sometimes I, I've heard... Uh, Edis, I, I think it was a while ago, but he just uh, turns the game into a one-player game. And he plays characters where you're stuck in this combo, or he gets you in these combos. And it's kind of like, shoot, I might die. Like, you, at any point, he kind of scoops you up, and you can just die. And that's just Bayo and Kazuya in general. Yeah, for sure. Definitely um, have, like, that, you know, zero to death, take you up the top, take you up the side. And in Kazuya's yeah. case, TAS, you know, take your stock immediately, so... Really going to be on Caspian to see through how Yidis wants to set that up and ultimately, you know, punish these characters for going for those like stock taking options. Mm -hmm. Going to be looking at the electric, the ABK, um, a lot of times up tilt, down tilt as well. Like they can just set up stuff for Bayo to be able to like you know carry you just across the stage and into the blast zone at the end of the combo. Yeah. Uh, going back to PS2, uh, same characters and all. Uh, I wonder if. Uh, Caspian, yeah, it seems to be taking a little bit more passive approach to this now. Uh, trying to get hits in when they can. Ooh, very nice. Getting a 48 off of that uh, off rip. Very nice if you can kind of keep that lead. Yep, Caspian definitely changing up from last game, so they're going to have a different game plan. But as I say that, he's going to find the opener. Oh, the tail end hit of that side. Yeah, that's going to get you stuck in that combo. And very. Uh, 
narrowly air dodging out of that, and yep. oh, there's what? a little bit of juggle happening here. Oh no, get him attacked. Get him attacked. You know, it. Same get off me. Forward air as well, catching the jump, so it's in solid control here from Caspian. Really trying to make sure that he just can't, you know, play his game, find the stock with whatever he wants to. I will say, Bayo, damage building machine. But until you lose that stock, you gotta make her work for it. And in spots like those, you definitely have to take advantage of it whenever you can get those up tilt back or converts. As I say that, the up smash oh, call out really well done by Caspian. Yes. And a little bit, hopefully, um, we try to see a little bit more of a, uh, wow. Yeah, like the, the momentum, like riding that, that momentum, getting the extra credit, you can with a tiny bit of rage. And um, and we can see here that uh, Yudis is starting to um, struggle to find that straight kill, but that's going to be able to do it. Very nice switch time. A yeah, little bit of commentator's curse in the mix. You already <laughs> a little bit, a little tiny bit. <laughs> we got the downtown coming out. Not going to find its mark. Caspian playing in a more, like I'd say, avoid focus style. You know, you can't really fight Bayo head on when she's doing these big buttons and, you know, drag down combos. So you're going to want to space her out a little bit more. Go for the up air. Unfortunately, going to be misspaced a little bit, but I don't hate the idea. Let's see here. Uh, he just maybe I feel like um, we might be able to see a, a call out, uh, like we said, um, what happened to Yudis's first stock. But uh, right now, it seems that they're kind of sort of dancing around and trying to, trying to get an opening. Yudis getting a little combo off, taking the stage control, and that also is going to get it. That was a good like. Um, pressure check right there. The forward tilt, you know, saying do something, then the up smash can call it out. Caspian already showing good adaptation with that move in specific for calling out whenever Bayo wants to put herself in the air to go for those combos with that ABK move. Get that parry there. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, they, they, <laughs> they seem to be just kind of like calling out with all these smash attacks, and it, it's kind of working for the both of them. And now we're going straight back to even. Uh, I'm gonna maybe have to like take a step back, evaluate what to do from both players. Yeah, for sure. And this is kind of a funny scenario because these characters are both trying to do the same exact thing to each other, where they just want to touch each other once and then take the entire stock from there with these up air side B combos. Oh, yeah. You say that the reversal and they're just building percent on each other, the same amount of percent pretty much. Ooh, yeah. The bat within gonna get Edis out of that scenario. I, I actually really like the reflector used to try and slightly extend your combos, get a little bit of extra credit. Even if it's not true, it can sometimes trick people up. Ooh, good, good. These get-up attacks are putting in work. Yeah. Side yeah. Ooh. That's really good. Passionate display from the competitors. You just looking pretty happy over that win. Honestly, very good adaptation by Caspian. Just came down to the... Honestly, came down to the wire. Those are good. I really like Caspian's like kind of crafty Falco, especially like adapting. Like I said, with that reflector, and as well as um, knowing when to take a step back and just kind of like zone a little bit with your with your lasers and you know like um, sort of melee style. Yeah, the up smashes were like working super well. I like the style switch, but at the end of the day, like the big thing against Bayo is like you can wall her out for like 15 times, but if she gets in on that 16 try, it might end up in your stock. So you just have to figure out how to weave in that passive play right there at the end to make sure that you really do make her hurt for trying to go for those ABK options, you know, like the up smashes were doing, but just, you know, one ABK too many landed, and that's going to be the difference between a win and a loss. But yeah. overall, pretty good set. Yeah, that was really good. It was, it was, it, so far we've been seeing two characters who want to do string combos on each other, like Mario and then PT, mostly Squirtle, I think, from what we, from what it was that we saw. And then we also saw Falco Bayo, which they just wanted to, like, do the exact same thing to each other. Yeah. So, like, pretty, pretty much doing the same plays. thing in different ways, essentially. So, uh, that's a lot of what this game comes down to. Like, yeah. you do play, like, zoner, keep out character, or you're playing, like, um, zero death, once I get it on you, I take your stock character. Yeah. You know, there's a few, like, outliers, but generally, like, that's going to come down to, like, the essential game plan. This is going to be a hot one. All right. Salad toffee. Wait, Shaq.